Thanks a lot, SNL. I'm watching this deep movie about a complex human being, and because of you, all I can think of is Celebrity Hot Tub. Get On Up stars Chadwick Boseman as the iconic soul singer James Brown. Tate Taylor, who also directed The Help, helms this ship, steering us towards a better understanding of the complexities and quirks of the man who would become the godfather of soul. Yet for a movie about a man with so much life and energy, why did I feel like I left the theater drained of mine? Now, don't get me wrong, Bozeman is great in this and certainly proves that his amazing performance last year as Jackie Robinson in 42 wasn't just a fluke. His take on James Brown is full of quirkiness, boldness, and risk. But where he really shines is in the performance scenes. As soon as we hit that first concert, Bozeman becomes James Brown. The charisma, the voice, and most importantly, those trademark gliding moves across the stage. It's captivating and full of so much life, which makes it all the more frustrating when he steps off the stage and the movie falls into some sort of lifeless lull. Now, there are many reasons I can think of that this might happen, and primary among them is structure. The movie is full of these often confusing time jumps that leave us dragging behind the development of this character. Now, a great story will use time leaps to give us information right when we need it, but here we seem to get information we don't even need yet, or information we could have used much earlier. If the movie is purposefully using these jumps to disorient us as some sort of symbolic show of James Brown's own fractured past, well, fine. But when you sacrifice good storytelling for metaphor, you lose a lot of the power. The film also takes liberal use of breaking the fourth wall by having James Brown talk directly to the audience throughout. Again, I'm assuming this was an artistic choice to emphasize Brown's state of mind, but it just didn't work for me, further taking me out of a movie I was having trouble connecting to anyway. And that's the worst thing about Get On Up. It just doesn't connect to its emotion in any meaningful way. Sure, we see the details of this man's past and the impact of his decisions, but to what purpose? The movie doesn't really feel like it has anything to say about his place or what greater meaning it may or may not have. The result is that any story heart simply dissipates because there is no purpose for which it can find purchase, leaving the emotion feeling completely disconnected and scattered. Overall, Get On Up just doesn't connect. Even with another standout turn by Chadwick Boseman and some captivating concert performances, there just isn't enough cohesive purpose to get this movie on up past a C+. Thanks for checking out this Your Movie Friend review. You can stay tuned for this review's best ever challenge here in a bit. But first, I want to throw some stuff up over here that you can click on. If you'd like to subscribe, which I'd very much appreciate, you can do that by clicking the big gray subscribe button. And if you want to see more, well, new reviews of Guardians of the Galaxy and So It Goes and A Most Wanted Man are also out this week. You can also click the logo right up here to go to the all new yourmoviefriend.com where you can find a searchable database of reviews as well as the written text of these videos. And finally, this review's best ever challenge. This is where you name the best movie ever in a particular category and also try to identify my choice. What is the best movie that is also a song title ever? For me, it's the one that includes what I consider to be Jim Carrey's best performance ever. Drop your own answer and a guess at mine in the comments, and the first person to guess mine does get a point. Thanks, and please subscribe.